Greetings. My name is Tim Harbison and I'm the APTC Skills for Employment and Training Director. It is my great pleasure to welcome everyone to the APTC Papua New Guinea Virtual Graduation. As part of our efforts to mark this special occasion for our graduating students, while complying with COVID-19 safety guidelines, we have chosen to host this graduation virtually. I would like to also acknowledge our guest speakers who are part of this ceremony. PhD Dr. Francis Huilapmomi, Acting Secretary for the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. His Excellency John Philp, the Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, and Mr. Paul Bertinaro, the Operations Manager, Asia Pacific CEQ, as well as the APTC Executive Director Ms. Janelle Chapman, our staff and students and viewers watching today. More importantly, I congratulate the 203 graduates who will be graduating in 11 different Australian qualifications today. APTC's operating context was significantly impacted by the disruptions due to the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly in Papua New Guinea, with a number of lockdowns that meant the closure of the Papua New Guinea country office and we were unable to host a graduation ceremony last year. As a result, in this graduation, we'll feature the second semester cohort for 2020 and the 2021 cohort of graduates. On behalf of the Papua New Guinea Country Office, I would like to acknowledge the perseverance shown by the graduates to complete their studies while managing the impacts of the pandemic. I will now move forward to outline our graduation ceremony program for today. We will begin with the opening prayer led by the fitting and machining trainer, Mr. Havosa Yasiva, followed by the national anthems of Papua New Guinea and Australia. Our keynote address will then be delivered by PhD Dr. Francis Huilapmomi, followed by our industry speaker address by Mr. Paul Bertinaro, and the conferral of the awards by the APTC Executive Director, Ms. Janelle Chapman. After which, the names of the graduates will be announced, followed by the graduate address by Ms. Carolyn Mant, Certificate Three Hospitality graduate. And then we will end it with the closing remarks by His Excellency, John Phil. Hi, good morning, uh, everyone. I will, uh, I will say a word of prayer before we start, so I'd like you all to close your eyes and then we'll, we'll say a word of prayer. Uh, thank you, dear Heavenly uh, Father. We just want to say thank you for uh, this day has come uh, for us to get together and just wanted to say thank you for what you have uh, done to us all through this uh, time. Uh, we just want to also thank you for the blessings, the worst blessings that you have blessed us through skills and uh, knowledge at this place. Oh God, we, we thank you. And uh, oh God, we believe that you will uh, bless us with these skills and uh, knowledge as we move on forward with various uh, job roles and industries that we will come across. So Lord, we uh, just want to say thank you for this day has come. As we want to proceed uh, with our celebrations, uh, God, we ask you to be with us and help us. And uh, bless this day, bless each and every one of us here. And, uh, Finally, we also wanted to say thank you to our trainers. We also wanted to say thank you to our admin staff, the management for all the effort. Uh, whatever they've contributed towards us, oh God, we would like to say thank you. It will be a great uh, help as we go along with uh, our career. So Lord, we just want to say thank you and uh, upon ourselves and this day of our celebration. Everything in your hands and we offer this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
His Excellency John Phil, Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, Ms. Janel Chapman, APTC Executive Director, graduates and our viewers. Today I am delighted to deliver the keynote address for this virtual graduation and join you in celebrating another cohort of graduates who will be receiving their technical and vocational uh, qualifications. Congratulations to 203 Papua New Guinea women and men who are graduating in today's ceremony. These graduates are from 11 different qualifications in the fields of construction, engineering, tourism and hospitality, commercial cookery, aged care, training and assessment, and skills, international skills uh, training. The wide variety of qualification reflects the range of skills and trades we have in Papua New Guinea. I am pleased to say that 47 women are graduating in this ceremony, including six women who will receive qualifications in construction and engineering. So this is remarkable and an encouraging achievement since Tibet is mostly perceived to be exclusive to males. I am proud to witness a growing number of women taking up trade roles in Papua New Guinea and making vital contributions to the national economy. <coughs> Graduates, I commend you for persevering to upskill yourselves as representatives of the workforce. You started through a difficult time as the nation battles with the COVID-19 pandemic. Your achievements have been possible because of your resilience and the value you place on education. Please continue to show this resilience once you go back into the workforce and community so that, so that you continue to have positive outcomes in your careers and lives. The Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology is the government agency responsible for managing higher and technical education and research and technology in PNG. Uh, PS works in collaboration with a range of government agencies and important partners like Australia and APTC to provide the advanced skills, knowledge and innovation required for sustainable for PNG sustainable economy and education educational development. An important priority for DS is strengthening technical and vocational education and training to ensure a sustainable supply of skilled Papua New Guinea workforce. Hence it brings great pleasure to witness PNG graduates like those in today's ceremony acquiring new skills and knowledge. Graduates, these skills and technical abilities will help you develop and grow various sectors across PNG. More importantly, it will be crucial in PNG's economic recovery in post-COVID-19. For PNG's TVET sector, the shift in the reform and unifying of the higher education sector is hope to improve links between the education system, industry and Tibet, and other tertiary training under national qualifications framework. I am pleased to say that we launched the National Higher and Technical Education Plan 2021 to 2030 and the National Skills Development Plan 2021 to 2025 in January this year. The five-year National Skills Development Plan in particular outlines the strategic direction for the development of the current and future 
PNG workforce focusing on five strategic areas management and governance, physical infrastructure and development, teaching and learning resources, partnerships and marketing opportunities for skills development and training. Partnerships with local training institutions and industry stakeholders and partners such as APTC are a key part of this development plan to take PNG forward. It is pleasing to see APTC continue to produce quality graduates and also collaborate with local training inst institutes. For example, APTC is working alongside higher education institutions like Bougainville Technical College, Mount Hagen Technical College, and the Highlands Agriculture College under Australia's sub-national group investment program. As a result of this partnership, the first cohort of the international skills training from Bougainville Technical College are also part of this graduation. I also commend the Australian government for supporting APTC's long-standing partnership with the Port Mosby Technical College, which has resulted in joint industrial trade fairs and co-sharing with the state-of-the-art National Automotive Training Center, as well as the upskilling of home tech staff in the International Skills Training Program to enhance the delivery of PNG. APTC's collaboration with industry partners like CEQ in PNG has resulted in the upskilling of four CEQ staff who are also graduating today with certificate three in electro technology and technician. DS acknowledges the Australian government for their significant contribution in establishing APTC, which remains Australia's major investment in trivet across the region, supporting them with improved employment opportunities and better livelihoods. In conclusion, finally let me turn my attention back to our graduates. I commend you for your dedication and sacrifice in successfully completing your studies. This graduation is all about you, and you deserve to celebrate your hard and achievements. I encourage you all to make the best use of your newfound skills. Once again, I extend my appreciation to APTC and the Australian government for your valuable support in the upskilling of Papua New Guinea. It has been a great honor to join everyone in today's celebration. I wish everyone all the best. Good morning and welcome. I'm Paul Bernardo, Operations Manager for CEQ. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the keynote speaker, Dr. Francis Howluk Mommy, Acting Secretary for the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. His Excell Excellency, Mr. John Phil, Australian High Commissioner for Papua New Guinea, Ms. Janelle Chapman, APTC Executive Director, representatives from local, regional and international agencies and educational institutes, graduates and our viewers. On behalf of CQ, it gives me great pleasure to be part of this virtual graduation. It is certainly an honour to be asked to participate in this important event. Congratulations to the 203 Papua New Guinean men and women who have been awarded qualifications in 11 different areas, including four of our employees graduating with Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology. Graduates, your efforts and commitment are to be commended, and I'm sure your families, friends and employers are immensely proud of you, so congratulations. CEQ is a leading industrial, electrical, engineering and contracting company operating across a number of Australian and Asia-Pacific markets, including industrial, water, food, commercial, automation and mining. We were established in 2000 and CEQ's mission is to achieve sustainable growth through the development of employee skills and capabilities. Hence, CEQ believes it is vital to invest in the Papua New Guinea workforce to grow our business. 
CEQ is proud to have been part of projects that the people of Papua New Guinea can enjoy in the long term. Recently, we have been engaged to supply and install electrical services for the Australian government supported Angout Memorial, Memorial Hospital redevelopment in Lay, the Port Moresby Power Station at Papalele, earthquake rectification works in Morrow, and APEC House at Ella Beach. In 2020, CEQ and APTC commenced their Pacific Skills Partnership. Four PNG electrical apprentices who have been with CEQ for three years undertook a Certificate Three in Electrotechnology with APTC. These four employees are graduating in today's ceremony and CEQ is incredibly proud of your achievements and your ability to persevere through your studies while managing the disruptions caused by COVID-19 to your training. CEQ's collaborative efforts with the APTC and Papua New Guinea partners is allowing for a skills development program which offers local Papua New Guinean tradesmen and women the opportunity to upskill their electrical qualifications to an Australian accredited qualification. This will enable PNG workers with the right skills and training to step up into leading roles in areas that cover engineering, procurement, construction management, installation and certification. As part of our partnership with APTC, we hope to upskill 30 PNG, Solomon Island and Fijian electricians by 2025. One of our employees who completed the Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology with APTC recommended to CQ management for further occupational health and safety training for electricians. His recommendation resulted in CQ funding training in basic first aid, CPR, and low voltage rescue training for all staff. CQ prioritises health and safety, and we are delighted that APTC training has not only helped our staff to upskill in their trade, but also in maintaining occupational health and safety standards relevant to the industry. To the graduates, the qualifications APTC has provided has given you the knowledge, technical and work ready skills to be successful in the workplace. A skills based qualification is a great first choice for further learning and careers. I would like to acknowledge the Australian Government for its continuous effort in TVET skills development in PNG through APTC. Once again, on behalf of CEQ, I congratulate all the graduates and wish you well for the future. And I thank the APTC team for organising this graduation ceremony. Thank you. Greetings. It is my privilege to be here to confer the awards of today's virtual graduation. I offer my most sincere appreciation to our guest speakers. The keynote speaker, Dr. Francis Hualupmami, the Acting Secretary of the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. His Excellency John Fleep, Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea. And Mr. Paul Bertinato, Operations Manager, Asia Pacific, the CEQ PNG. I also acknowledge our ABTC partner, family and friends of our students, and other representatives of the governments of Papua New Guinea and Australia who may be joining us today. Most of all, on behalf of APTC, I extend my sincere congratulations to all our graduates. Today's ceremony is special in so many ways, as this is not only the first APTC graduation in Papua New Guinea for 2022, but this graduation also includes graduates from our 2020 cohort. Whilst COVID-19 disruptions did not allow us to host a graduation in Papua New Guinea last year, we want you to know how equally proud we are of both the 2020 and 2021 cohorts who are part of today's ceremony. The experiences of the past year have been challenging for us all but it has also taught us to be resilient. Our resiliency as our solid foundation to empower us all to continue to move further into the future. Graduands, you have reached one goal here today by getting an Australian standard qualification. However, your journey should not end here. This achievement should only be a stepping stone to help you on your next journey in life. 
I am also delighted to hear that there are 47 women graduating in this ceremony. APTC is honored to have supported your learning journey towards employment. And we will continue to support inclusive and gender responsive TVET systems, which contributes towards a skilled and productive workforce for greater Pacific productivity. Australia is committed to our ongoing partnership with the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, and the Australian Government for the Skills for Subnational Growth Investment Program. I extend my sincere congratulations as well to the international skills graduates in this ceremony from the Bougainville Technical College who have completed their training under this program. I also acknowledge our long-term partner, the Port Moresby Technical College, and congratulate their 17 staff who are also part of this ceremony. APTC is committed to continue to support TVET delivery and strengthening wider institutional focus on inclusion inclusion through our partnership. APTC is also proud to partner with CEQ for skills development for their staff through our Pacific Skills Partnership. I congratulate their four staff who will be graduating in the Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology Electrician Program today. APTC will continue to strive to work with industry to ensure our training is well aligned to industry needs. With that said, to our graduates on behalf of all at APTC, I must say that it has been our privilege to be part of your learning journey. You are now part of a special network of over 17,000 APTC alumni, and I encourage you, all of you to stay connected through the APTC PNG alumni chapter. You live our motto, creating skills for life. I will now move forward to confer the awards of today's virtual ceremony. In accordance with the Australian Qualifications Framework and in recognition of the individual requirements of each qualification, I confirm that all graduates have met the requirements of their course of study as conferred by TAFE Queensland and delivered through the Australia Pacific Craning Coalition. Congratulations to all our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, now the important part of the program we've all been waiting for. The following graduates are from the 2020 cohort who will be receiving their awards in carpentry, commercial cookery, fabrication, fitting and machining, hospitality and individual support. Hello everyone, I would like to acknowledge and congratulate two female students for the 2020 carpentry group <coughs> for the efforts and determination to complete the training with the male colleagues and the graduates are uh, namely Aquila Wartovo, Alphonse Ave, Bolton Walwalu, Benjamin Taupa, Eclipse Isom, Eno Mea, Francis Barra, Givise Sokire, Osia Utul, Jacqueline Gray, Keke Namona, Tonti Fanopa BP, Veri Daure, and Willie Tamien Beo. Hi, it was, it was with great pleasure uh, for me to call out the recipients of the Certificate 3 in Commercial Cookery 2020 batch. Alex Nossi. Amethyst Baira. Darren Johnson. David Sukmara. Grace Kumbakor. Margaret Hoem, Petrus Herea, Sam Ipatas, and Valina Bole. Thank you and congratulations.
it gives me great pleasure to announce to you today that 2020 graduates in the engineering certificate fabrication program namely Alex Warupi Andrew Lagape Angela Absalom Banu Sawa Billy Morris David Yalingen Gorogolohia Hosea Papala Yamo Komek Jetro Louis Joshua Arwai Lenny Rengepe Palalaka Gillian Siperi Nathan Kiputong and Raymond Marahau. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it, it is my uh, uh, pleasure to uh, introduce and announce my uh, uh, graduates. Certificate tree in fitting and machining. Uh, before I call upon the names to receive the certificates, uh, I would like to take this time to thank my graduates for their uh, hard work during this time that they've been here. Uh, they've wasted their time, invested in their studies, uh, and now uh, they perform well in their practical uh, activities. So I would like to take this time to congratulate and thank my students for their uh, hard work. Uh, you have done well, and I have no doubt in you. Uh, I believe that uh, you will be a, a, a asset to any company that you're going to work for. So I wish you all and, uh, and uh, wish you good luck and uh, I congratulate you for your achievement. Uh, also, uh, just would like to uh, also thank you. It's been a, a COVID challenges, it's a, it's, but uh, uh, you have gone through these challenges, but you have done well. So I also would like to uh, thank you. Okay, now I, I would like to call upon the names of the uh, graduates now. Uh, first on the list, Adrian Peterson Wawet. But Tagi, uh, Charlotte Kodiva is one of our uh, female uh, student. She's now currently working with uh, Est Endurance. Danny David. David Carl. Glenn Tauterewaya. Graham Sia Molly Innocent Disin Jimmy Sagan Joyce Michael is also one of our female uh, student. Now is currently working with uh, uh, Eden Valley. Lucas Derevi, Mark Makilio is also one of our captain. Philemon Andrew, Thomas Boom, Timothy Daniel, and Morinu Marogan is one of our Sagan. Congratulations and thank you all. Good day. It's with great honor to call out the recipients of Certificate Tree in Hospitality, uh, semester 1, 2020. The recipients are Adelaide Rimutiola. 
Caroline Iroto, Christine Saima Nuak, Doris Tutat, Enangme Waita Subun, Gladys Komot Levy, Leslie Dikat, Lisa Kawari, Mana Gertrude Guba, Patricia Silis Pondoros, Wendy Kenny Oreke, and Winifred Pulu. Congratulations to the following recipient of Certificate 3 in Inville Support, Azal Jerry Olame. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We will now announce the names of the 2021 graduates who will receive their awards in Carpentry, Commercial Cookery, Electro-Technology, Fabrication, hospitality, light motor vehicle technology, tourism, training and assessment, and the international skills training. Continuing on to the 2021 Carpentry Group. And the graduates are Andrew William Libung, Aramas Tolwai, Gideon Mako, Jeremy Wangi, Joel Wasang Kalsup, Matthias Maina, Nathan David, Nixon Papai, Penny Umia, Samson Lowai Parako, Samuel Mangrawi, Teddy Yanget, and finally Terence Sapi. Congratulations. Hello, it was a great pleasure and honor for me uh, to call out the recipients for the Certificate 3 in Commercial Cookery 2021 batch. Cosmas Kandaule, Diane Bakut, Francis Kingi, Frank Icy, Isaac Robert, James Tetu, Joel Rambayo, Keith Kauoi, Lionel Banige, Matthias Ombo, Rex Kila, Robbie Peke, Rosa Tom, Roy Joseph, and Yandape Panapen. Thank you and congratulations. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. congratulations on completing your Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology with APTC. It's a special day to graduate and I'm happy that I can be here with you via video. It was a pleasure getting to know you all and working with you over the past couple of years. And I'm hoping that I'll be seeing you all again in the future. Congratulations, Adrian Kiana. Congratulations, Alan Kirita. Congratulations, Ben Punny. Congratulations, Cornelius Pinolasa. Congratulations, David Young. Congratulations, Kenny Kevell. Congratulations, Mabi Apako. Congratulations, Samuel Tico. Congratulations, Sabia Labana. Congratulations, Thomas Kanat. 
Congratulations, Wengu Demi. It gives me great pleasure to announce to you today the 2021 graduates in the Engineering Certificate 3 Fabrication Program. Namely, Alan Gigi, Ensley Matiwat, Benedict Fihori, Douglas Tony, Elias Mangiten, Emmanuel Rimbu, Emmanuel Wamuk, Frank Ephraim Punau, Harry Manau, Michael Joe, Philemon Dilindiwi, Samson Yoba, Tommy Norris, Warka Baltasa Sura, and Exavia Tika. Thank you and congratulations. It with great honor to call upon the recipients of Certificate 3 Hospitality for Semester 1 and 2, 2021. They are H.L. Leary, Caroline Monk, Elizabeth Dockers June, Esther Stevens, Ethel Hetsiwani, Grace Gabi, Helen John, Julie Moses, Kande Glado Koi, Luisa Taita Oa, Marian Romy, Reynard Weimar, and also included from the previous semesters, Helen Dree and Jeanelle Enoch. Uh, just to congratulate you all uh, for the proud recipient of Certificate 3 in Hospitality. All the very best in your career endeavors. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Doris Meliwani the automotive trainer for Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology. It is an honor for me today to call up on the following graduates for the year 2020 and 2021 automotive class. Congratulations to Akepa Sabume, Alan Korekop, Agustin Powell, Constantine Totti, Daniel Stace Gami Peril, Denley Parwa, Deb Derrick, Denley Delma Sheila Soten. Franklin Siki, Eloa Tameti, James Paragum, John Birentop, John William Pryke, Newman Dassen, Richard Sonari, Tony Marcus, Vincent Jimbet, Vincent Power, and lucky last, Wing Wong Mambi. Congratulations.
Congratulations to the following recipient of Certificate 3 in Tourism, Geraga Guena, Samuel Billy, Veroline Yeme, Vina Gladys Dobin. Thank you. Congratulations to the following recipient of Certificate 4 in Training and Assessment. Ross Henny Morea, Gilbert Bimundi, Delvin Balson, Gregory Tutuai, Martin Bonobo, Scott Kevin. Thank you. Congratulations to the following recipient of Certificate of International Skills Training, Albert Linus, Amos Peamo, Anol Juango, Bruce Ovasuru, Christopher Aya, Clive Tiromri, Des Ma Matipa, Doris Meliwani, Eric Laya, Fred Kaleb, Hagai Jerika, Heagi Tabe, Humphrey Eruga, Jacob Abba, James Palat, Joseph Kisokau, Joseph Saringili, Josiah Epeloboro, Peke Nauni, Ramel Gonzalez, Rafael Bonhart, Raymond August, Raymond Grang Jean, Rodney Aita, Roslyn Move, Ruth Dawa, Terence Maimbo, Tommy Yepen Dohe, Vera Wide. Dixie Toba, Jimmy Tushi, Joseph Totover, Lydia Pai, Seth Peresi, Shelly Yangi, Tiden Irima. Thank you. First off, I'd like to acknowledge the keynote speaker, Dr. Francis Hualupmami, the Acting Secretary for the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. His Excellency, Mr. John Philp, Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea. Industry speaker, Mr. Paul Bertinato, CEQ Operations Manager in the Asia Pacific. Ms. Janelle Chapman, APTC Executive Director. APTC Executive Management, the PNG Campus Management, trainers and staff, fellow graduates and viewers. It gives me great pleasure to represent my fellow graduates. My name is Carolyn Mund and I hail from the highlands of Papua New Guinea. I'm a graduate of APTC 2021 cohort of the, with a certificate three in hospitality. I would like to share my experience of how I learned about APTC and came to study in this great Tivet institution that offers internationally recognized qualifications. I'd like to thank the APTC student services staff, Ms. Jacqueline Manau, she was my economics teacher back in high school and by sheer force of luck, I met her at Vision City uh, during the Christmas break of the year 2019, 2019. She mentioned she was working with APTC and at the time I had no idea what APTC was. She encouraged me to apply just 
as she always did back in high school. I was going through a tough time in my life and honestly I was doing what I had to do just to get by another day. I was, I wasn't living, I was surviving. So to be perfectly frank with you all, one of the best things I did early 2020 to mid 2020 was actually apply. Despite COVID and all the other negativity that was a part of my life at that time, I chose to do something good for myself, something worth looking forward to. So for that, I'd like to thank Ms. Manau. Thank you for introducing me to APTC. Thank you for giving me another chance. The whole idea of having to take up a six months course was exciting. Once I got the call to come in and sit for an entry test, I had it all planned out in my mind. I was going to complete the course quickly, get out of there and start working in the field that I loved. COVID had other plans though. As you're all aware, it took us one whole year to complete this course. And honestly, I would not have had it any other way. I would like to applaud all the men and women graduating today. We did it. And I'd like to take this time to thank everyone for a great year despite the setbacks, mostly COVID-19 related. Great time, great friends, great, great memories. It was a little bit of lessons learned. I grew to cherish everyone that I came across during my APTC journey. The administration staff, the NCS staff, the security guards, fellow students, and of course my hospitality crew, both trainers and course mates alike. For complete strangers to individuals that had nicknames for each other, that confided in each other, that knew each other's strengths and weaknesses, to becoming family. It isn't about how tough or how smooth the journey is, or the storms and the sunshine you got to experience along the way. It's really about the people or the company that you journeyed with. It's about fighting through the storms and basking in the sunshine together. A story worth telling. And I journeyed with an amazing, diverse team. Thank you, APTC, for that. And a massive thank you to the Australian government also for giving each and every one of us graduating today the opportunity to get internationally recognized qualifications in various trades. Thank you for providing us this program, for creating a pathway for some of us that had it hard, for supporting us all throughout and just for not giving up on us. I for one won't stop witnessing to others about APTC. I'm, I'm doing it and I'm gonna still do it. APTC has done great things are doing great things and just please continue to do great things for us here in Papua New Guinea and the Pacific as a whole. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart and I'm pretty sure I speak for everyone else. So before I leave or end this, a quick shout out to my friends. Be in touch, don't be a stranger now. Once an APTC student, always an APTC representative. But you missed that. Congratulations once again. We're an officially APTC PNG alumni. You join over 17,000 APTC alumni across the Pacific region. Stay connected. Also, please join the APTC PNG alumni page to keep in touch. Thank you. Now, walk must go yet. G'day, I'm John Philp, I'm the Australian High Commissioner. I'm really pleased to be here today. I'm really grateful for the invitation to come along and talk to this graduation ceremony. I know it's really troubling still to be having to do this virtually and I look forward to the day when we can actually do it in person. But for the moment, I'm really pleased to be here and I would like to acknowledge all those who've already spoken. Dr. Francis Hualok Maumi, the Acting Secretary of Dehurst, Paul Bertinato, the Operations Manager for Asia Pacific for CEQ, General Chapman, and I particularly want to acknowledge her team uh, at APTC for doing such a great job of all this. But particularly, I want to welcome and say hello to all the graduating students, all their families and communities who've been able to support them for such a long period of time as they come through their qualifications. That's a pretty special thing to support people. And work for one time, you say, come up and good pala kai kai. Me pala hang us long support, belong you pala will get it. This is really important, the way that families and communities can come together to support students, to enable them to do the work they need to do for their training courses and their graduations. 
Today, it's 203 skilled Papua New Guineans who are graduating. That's a wonderful thing for you as students, for your communities and families, but also for Papua New Guinea as a whole, for its economy, to have such a big cohort of really skilled graduates. It's great that this graduation features 47 women. That's a wonderful thing, particularly the six who are graduating qualifications in construction and engineering. And we look forward to seeing those numbers grow as more and more women come forward for technical qualifications like this. Graduates have come through 11 different trades, and that's a wonderful set of diversity in construction, engineering, tourism, hospitality, commercial cookery, aged care, training assessment, international skills training. It's very important that these skill sets and these courses are actually matched with Papua New Guinea's needs so that we know that when students graduate, not only have they got a great new set of skills, but they're ones that are in demand by businesses across Papua New Guinea, by the Papua New Guinea economy, by the workforce. And that they're able then to get really great jobs that will help to benefit themselves, develop their careers, but also benefit their families and communities across PNG. These qualifications are really quite special um, and we're really proud to be able to make this tangible investment in Papua New Guinea's future, in your future as students of Papua New Guinea. We try in the partnership between Papua New Guinea and Australia always to focus on inclusive economic growth with target investments in sector, private sector-led growth. And this is what this is. It's not the Australian government or the Papua New Guinean government employing graduates, it's the private sector who've really got a great demand for people, the kinds of skills our graduates today have been able to learn. This is something that our Prime Ministers, Prime Minister Morrison and Prime Minister Marape specifically agreed that they really wanted to do more in technical vocational education and training to ensure not just that graduates have the skills they need but the private sector is able to tap in the resources they need and that, that benefits the PNG economy. We look forward too to seeing many of these graduates apply for jobs in Australia and to go there on Pacific Labor Mobility. That's another way that you can help yourselves, your communities, but also the economy of Australia. You know, we need more young Papua New Guinea with these really strong technical skills. Really pleased that last week we welcomed the first labor mobility workers back to Australia since the beginning of the pandemic. And we hope to see many more. It's important to us and our economy. It's important because it will help students to grow their skills further um, and it will help the Papua New Guinean economy as those people come back and do more to contribute to their families, their communities and the economy as a whole. So it's great to have this graduation today. I'm really sorry we couldn't do it in person. I look forward hopefully to be able to do it that way next year at another time. I look forward to meeting some of you. I really hope uh, across Papua New Guinea as I go around and as you go back to your provinces. And the last point, I'd really encourage graduates to reach out and to actually participate in the alumni networks. There are a lot of people across the country who've already graduated from these courses. They've got a lot to mentor and train and help you with. And similarly, the networks you've built by meeting other people on these courses um, are things that are going to be able to help you in your careers as you go forward. And I hope that as alumni, you'll also help the next group of students as they look to earn more qualifications, that you'll help them to navigate the systems and the process of what it takes to be successful, how you can be successful, what you can do with it once it's done. Those are really valuable lessons. So these networks are really something that will really benefit you, but will enable you to be leaders to benefit the next generation. So thank you again for inviting me today. I'm really pleased to be here, if only virtually. I look forward to meeting some of you in person as soon as we possibly can. Congratulations again to all the students, to all their families, now all I'm belonging. Thank you, Drew. Day comes and goes.